This is a look at the Easy H. Uh, another round of quad lugs coming up soon. And this is going to be mid to late summer also. But what we're going to do on the Easy H, it's going to be uh, coming out in the mini series and the regular uh, uh, lug series. But what we're also going to be doing with the Easy H is offering it uh, to 3D printers to print themselves also. We'll have um, uh, our line of uh, the injected ABS parts, but we'll also offer the STL files for anyone who wants to 3D print it. What you would be printing are the arm and body lugs and the motor mount lugs. Uh, again, this is really unique in that it takes just a few seconds to put it together and they fly great. This is the mini series and it's um, again about actually nine and a half inches from uh, motor motor this way and about 12 inches from motor to motor this way and I'm running red for the front and it's running again around 14 inches diagonally from motor uh, center motor motor. Um, if you put on either this one or the uh, regular series uh, uh, Easy H, if you mount the ESCs here on, uh, or on the arms, um, you do not need any kind of a, a raised area here to mount your controller. When you do that, when the controller fits on, and this is one of our uh, uh, KK board uh, holders here, when you put this on this way, then uh, the way the, the arms are made here, or the corners are made, the, the, when it, if you do this number, there's protection for your controller. You can see how it's recessed down here. So anyway, it's pretty unique, works really good. I'm gonna put together the bigger one um, and show you just how fast this goes together. Uh, on the Mini, we're running again, the uh, 2408, I'm sorry, 2404 14, and they're 1400 KV, and we're running um, uh, 8x4 props on it, and again, 10 amp ESCs. Uh, and the only thing we're doing for the battery mount on this is putting a piece of, uh, of, of uh, Velcro at the bottom, and um, we're just sticking the battery on. We're running uh, two cell batteries, plenty of strength to hold it on. And this allows you to move it around if you want to. But anyway, flies very well. We're gonna have some footage on this flying along with the other minis flying real soon. Uh, we just have, uh, we're in North Texas and we're having some really bad winds here. So hopefully we'll get some uh, uh, time here where we can do some flying for you. Um, so let me uh, show you just how quick uh, the larger one goes together and obviously this one goes together the same. So what we're doing on, on the larger one here, we're running 12 inch uh, pieces for the body and we're running actually looks like 14 for the arms. So you'll get your, this is what you'll be 3D printing and these are your parts here and we'll be furnishing these come late this summer. Uh, the only thing is that uh, when you 3D print them, if you know if you have a, a, a mishap or a crash, uh, they tend not to hold up as well. Well, you'll find that the, uh, the uh, items that we produce are, are extremely strong and you can have multiple, multiple crashes with it and uh, our mishaps and uh, they'll survive. Everything else may go away, but they'll survive. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is put the arms on and uh, you slide them on and you'll measure uh, how far apart you want them because again, um, like all of the quad legs, you can make this any size you want. You know, even the minis, you can reduce it down in size if you choose to. Um, same thing with these. You can, uh, you know, make these a lot smaller if you wanted to. I'm making it this size because I happen to uh, uh, like a little bit bigger one. 
But again, you can make this, uh, like I said, any size you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. And we just run, I just run them flush with here, with the end. And again, too, as with all quad legs, you're flexible in what you can do with it. Uh, if you want to run these out a little bit further, you can definitely do that. You can build a platform here for a um, uh, camera if you so choose. Or we have uh, camera mounts that we're starting to fabricate that will fit right here on this piece of wood and it'll hold your GoPro up here if you want to do it that way also. So let me go ahead and get this other one on. What's unique about this too is that this piece right here, um, and again we're using uh, uh, a uh, we're using bass wood for all of our our uh, wood. When you put this in, the way it fits in right here, um, I don't know, let's see if you can see that between this area right here, the way I have it designed. When you put this in, it locks this thing in really, really good. So push it on in. And it's amazing how strong it becomes when you put that together. And go ahead and move this out a little bit. You're done just this fast. The frame is together. Uh, you shoot some screws into it. Um, put our motor mounts on. Shoot a few screws in. This frame is done just that fast. Now, if you were mount your ESC here, or for any reason you want to raise a platform up, or to have a platform or a deck on it, you know, you can do this number, and you have, or let me put it this way, and there you go. There you are, as quick as that, you're ready to go. This is one of the quickest frames that I've seen that to put together. Um, and I tell you what, it's really strong, it's really good, and if you have a problem, again, it's wood. You can find it, you can change it really quick. So anyway, this is it. The Easy H. Um, we'll have it out mid to late summer. Please uh, check it out at quadlegs.com. I'll have it up on the site in the next few days, and we'll have some, uh, some uh, flying footage of both of these. So uh, appreciate you watching, please subscribe, and uh, here we go, here's a few more.